with you about the Beatles, about their influence. Tell me something about the activities of this fan club. What does it mean for the people? What, what people do you have uh, uh, in this group? It's, oh, uh, to be honest, I don't do the membership, so I yeah. can't answer that question. Cut that bit out. Um, <laughs> I run the website for the British Beatles fan club, and we have um, hits from all over the world. Uh, most popular in Britain, America is second, China is third, which is interesting on our statistics. Yeah. So, um, so certainly with the internet, the online version of the club, and it's just a way of, of giving out information, you know, spreading the word about news, about new books coming out, about when the hall is open. Um, uh, they we run the mailing list for, for Paul's stuff. We always get information about his albums and things like that. Uh, so it is just a sort of a, it's a news site and a way to to let people know what's happening. It was great because uh, it has passed many years since the Beatles played, and then after 50 years, they're still alive in the heart of people and the musical testers. Absolutely, and we see that here in the hall. I try and open up the hall. Um, that, we normally only open for birthdays and anniversaries and, and special occasions, but we were open this year for the, the anniversary of the day they met, July 6th, was on a Saturday. So it was, and in fact we were here at 4.15 and we were going, so this was the exact moment over the road and, and everybody was in the hall, it's like, kind of we got chills, you know, that it had happened right at that moment. But that day we had people in the hall from every single continent. Yeah, and then we get to sign the guest book, and I was checking it later and went through it, and it was like, that's really cool. You know, they're coming from all over the world just to spend over there, you know, on the exact spot where, where John and Paul met. Can you tell us what, what has been here? Well, the hall is, with a couple of exceptions, is exactly as it was on the day they met. Uh, there used to be a stage in here which is now on loan to the Museum of Liverpool. It still belongs to the church. The church will never part with it. Uh, but it's, it's and the, the, the corner bit, the steps where John was sitting on that day, uh, are on display in the hall. So the stage has been taken out. Uh, there's cupboards behind us that are new. Uh, they were put in after a fire in, in about 2001. So, but apart from that, the hall is exactly as it was on the day that John and Paul met. It's still used as a church hall as it was back, yeah. back in the day. Fantastic. It was in that corner? Yes, yep, yeah, over there. Um, and it's the original floor, so you can stand literally on the spot where history was made. Yeah, fantastic. Who is your favourite Beatle? If you have one. Yeah, it's, I, well, I have two actually. It depends on my mood. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm really a two man woman. It's John and Paul. John and Paul. Uh, yeah, it's, it, but it does depend on my mood as to which yeah. is my favourite at the time. It's like um, a grow, when you grow as a person, I think you have a different favourite Beatles in the different period of your life. Yeah. Maybe it could be so. So you start with John, the leader, then uh, Paul, because he's still playing, doing concerts. I, I, was a, I attended Paul concert in Bologna two years ago. And I have the pleasure to bring my kids there to see on stage a real legend. Now at the, at the age of 50, I'm reading something very interesting about George. I feel very close to George Spear. I think Ringo is a Beatles for every age. <laughs> for every yeah, age. yeah, you could say that about Ringo. You could, yeah, that's one say around here, but yeah, no, he's, he's, he made up when he came and did his tour here a few years ago. Um, he made up and he apologised, so I think yeah. Liverpool's kind of forgiven him yeah. a bit. Have you met one of the Beatles? I've, or a relative or something? I've or met family? several relatives yeah. um, and, and friends. I met Pete Best, so I've met a Beatle. Mm. Um, yeah. Been touching distance to Paul, but. I don't know if I'd want to, because it's it, sometimes it spoils it to meet them in person. So I'm, I'm not I'm not certain that I'd want to. But touching distance is good. Relatives are good. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.
Hello. Good morning. Buongiorno. 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 And here we are in the sunny Liverpool as yes. usual. Here we are in Penny Lane. Yes. Here we are in Penny Lane Hotel. Yes. A new one. And uh, good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And we say. And uh, let's talk about the Beatles yeah. in the more artistic side because you're right. a painter. So, uh, what can you tell me about your <coughs> inspiration? My inspiration for my art comes from music and culture. But I can say, uh, hand on heart, that um, my work is based on my love, my passion for not just music also, not just the Beatles, but all music and musicians. Yeah. Um, because I have a background of music, my father was a a musician of Philharmonic Orchestra. Oh, really? oh yes, yeah. Uh, I could never match his skill, his passion for music. Sometimes you feel the inspiration thinking about John as an artist or George as an artist, or usually you are inspired by their songs? A little but a bit of both actually, because I was inspired, yes, by their songs, by the imagery, for example, by the, the, the time of uh, for Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, uh, etc., because it, they are so evocative of a scene. And I know that John, uh, uh, John and Paul, they were both studied at art. And it shows in the music, they're the musicians first, but they almost have uh, some great imagination, and that is what I love about art. Yes, I can draw, I can paint realistically, but I like to have a fantasy element also. And the Beatles brought that in as well. For example, uh, Magical Mystery Tour, the imagery, the, the lyrics, the parole, it's all there, you can hear it in the music, and it, it's, it impacts on the senses. Mm. So it can drive me, I can, be, I can close my eyes, I can, I can imagine, and I can have done this, I can draw John Lennon in a certain situation. But um, I think it's because they're so diverse, the music, and I hopefully, it can be the same for me when I am when I am approaching uh, a fresh artwork that I can be inspired to do something that's different each time. Even drawing a Beatles picture, not just draw. That's a photograph. That's a picture. I would look at maybe one or two or three and uh, um, merge them together in my mind to create my own image to be different. So, can you tell me about your art exhibition, your work? Yes. When uh, normally I am t take part in shared exhibitions because I'm not so prolific to have my own. But this year I've been asked to do one, a solo exhibition with my good friend um, Alice, who is also a, cu a curator and also happens to be a Beatles fan. Would you believe it? Everything I touch is Beatles, even if it's indirectly. So I will be doing a, from sharing an exhibition with some fabulous artists, mostly from the Liverpool, like myself. I will. I have, I have curated my first exhibition uh, this coming 2014. So I cannot wait. Many mm. compliments. Um, great, great. And thank you very much for Grazie your time. Nice thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. In Piacere. Hi Pino, nice to meet you. My name's John. My name's Phil. Nice to meet you. And we are in a very historic um, venue in the Beatles history, um, Naughty Ash. Yeah, we're here at Naughty Ash Village Hall. Yeah. And uh, I suppose um, it's well documented that this is one of the places where the Beatles played. We know that they played here eight times. And we know that it was kind of at the beginning, the early kind of times of, of the Beatles history, 61, 62. But we know also that some important uh, gigs took place in here. For instance, Sam Leach said that the first battle of the bands took place in this venue between Rory Storm and the Hurricanes and the Beatles. 
were kind of f fighting for first and second pole you know, on the on the, the music charts within the pool. But the building's also got a, a bigger historic um, kind of link with the Beatles is that it's kind of home to Ken Dodd as well, yeah. who, who I believe, I mean, a lot of people say that the Ed Sullivan show kind of exposed the Beatles around the world, but I believe that Ken Dodd was kind of one of the key people in Britain because he, he actually put them on his radio show and he put them on his Saturday night TV show, the Ken Dodd show, which I think was in uh, 63, I think it was. Um, going back uh, kind of 70 years earlier than that, this building was actually given to the community by a rich and wealthy family, uh, the Thompson family of, of Thingwall, and they own shipping companies from Liverpool to America and a variety of, of other kind of um, business opportunities. They were entrepreneurs, and they don't have, donated this building to the people of Montreal. So, what can you say about uh, the historic um, venue today? Well, today, Pino, um, the venue is home to um, the next kind of generation, if you like, of um, Liverpool talent. I saw a musician, or was it wrong? Yes, yes, the, the, the musicians that yeah. you just seen leaving the building, they're, they're a group of four or five local musicians, all individual musicians, they're not in a band together. But the, the centre has now become a kind of meeting place where musicians will come, um, jam together, write music, compose music, and then record music. And as you can see, the hall that we're in here where the Beatles actually played, um, they also have an opportunity to play in, the, in this hall as well. And this is a, a recording studio as well? Yes, yes, we can, you, we can have a look at the recording studio in a, in a moment. Um, so yeah, in, in, in the modern day, this, this, the centre has produced, already produced uh, quite a few stars. Um, one of them is Joe Slater. He's a young 17-year-old man. He's, uh, he's, he's he plays a part in a BBC um, mm -hmm. television series. He's also uh, an amazing songwriter. He also does, um, he, he sings uh, kind of jazz, swing swing stuff, but, but he's also um, writing his own material at the moment and he's just kind of developing that as, as a songwriter. We've also got a young woman called uh, Vanessa Murray who won a, a national songwriting competition and came second in another, another competition. Uh, she got to play at the Houses of Parliament. And then there's another young man, uh, a guy called Matthew Breen, who's, um, he, he landed the part of George Harrison yeah. in uh, a play in a local Liverpool theatre about, uh, the play was about John Lennon's yeah. life story. And the guy who played John Lennon was actually in a famous Liverpool band called The Lars. The Lars, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're familiar with them, and, and a band called Cast. I have uh, that song, There She Goes, as there she goes. It's very into on my mobile phone. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're obviously, you're obviously a, li a liver file then, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one of the other things that we also do is we concentrate on teaching very young people yeah. so that they can, they can come and, and they mix with other musicians so they, they, they're able to see good role models yeah. um, and, and we teach them to play drums, guitar, bass, keyboards. All kind of instruments. So it's like a way to bring on Liverpool spirits in music. Yes, absolutely. It's a way to continue some of the, some of the work that went on in the 60s and, yeah, and yeah. beyond that. Um, and and the, the, one of the main reasons that we can do this is because we have an organisation called UK Music. Yeah. We are a national organisation and they had the vision along with another guy to, to kind of invest some money into the centre. And that's why we are what we are today. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do that without support from these people. Okay. Thank you okay. very much. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome, Pino. Thanks for coming. It's nice to have you there. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining us.